What's going on everyone? Mecha here. Welcome back to Pokemon Puzzle League. We are now in a time skip and we just beat one chapter beating a bunch of annoying thieves, assassins, snipers, that kind of stuff with our wyvern squad. Uh, we got all of the golden deer back, just not any of the recruited students yet, but we have Beleth, we have Claude, we have Lorenz, we have Lasithia, we have Raphael, we have all of them. So now we're just on the look for the rest of them I guess, so let's go. Uh, we have a chapter wrap up to finish that we didn't do last time. And I guess it's just on to the next map. Uh, I'm exhausted. What gives, Professor? We're different. <sighs> I was so excited to see everyone again, and then this happens. I'm still tired from the long journey. How did it come to this? Still sound the same, though. Let's all take a moment to catch our breath. Mm, if you've got the spare time to play with those guys, the least you could do is prepare some tea. Come on. Thanks for your blame, Claude. <laughs> Come on, those guys were thieves. We couldn't just let them get away. It seems they've been taking advantage of the church's absence and doing whatever they please here. In any case, um, I'm glad that all of you are well. That's the spirit, Marianne. Positivity. That was fun. In fact, I wouldn't mind romping around some more. Friends, so, there we go. You were alive this whole time, Professor. I am not surprised. In fact, that is why I came here. And it doesn't look like time has rusted your skills. That's a relief. Not at all. I'm just glad everyone's alive and well. On that note, let's move this reunion party somewhere else. Now that we've dealt with those violent bandits, we could potentially use this place as our base of operations again. Oh, wow. What could you possibly mean by that? I'm talking about the Leicester Alliance taking over Garrick Mach Monastery. Or what's left of After it anyway. all, it's right in the middle of Foden. It's a critical strategic location. Are you suggesting that we fight back against the Empire? Aren't you getting a bit ahead of yourself? The Alliance is in complete discord at present. And, as leader of the Imperial faction of the Alliance, isn't Count Gloucester, your father, the main cause of that discord? Oh, shit. I... Yes, that is true. It was inevitable. Our house's territory is close to Imperial land, after all. Had we not consented to vassalage under the Empire, they would have invaded immediately. Naturally. And to be clear, I have no problem with your house maintaining its Imperial ties until we're sufficiently prepared to revolt. The Empire is the cause of the infighting. If we rid ourselves of them, the situation should resolve itself. Good fucking luck. That's why I'm thinking we should make this our base, raise up an army, and stir up some trouble for Build the Empire. an army. Now you're talking. Sounds like fun. So then, Mr. Leader Man, does this mean you intend to rope us into your little scheme? Leader Man? <laughs> hmm? Ah, my grandfather passed away. That means yours truly is officially the leader of the Alliance. If we had a more reliable leader, perhaps the Alliance would not have been divided. Oh, please. Think what you will. All I need to know is if you're in or you're out. I'm happy to lend a hand. I won't let those Imperial dogs set foot in Alliance territory. I couldn't bear it if my village got caught up in the chaos of war. I'll fight too. I've got to protect my little sis. I will join as well. After all, House Ordelia was once dragged into an Imperial revolt. It ruined us. Ah, uh, of course. I understand your motivation. I'll fight too. It's time to take responsibility for my own future. I... I don't want to run anymore. I hope I'll be of use to everyone. We can do anything if we work together, Marianne. What have they been doing all this time, I wonder? What about you, Lawrence? Are you going to go back home to your scary father or what? <laughs> we cannot rely on Claude's scheming to lead us to victory. <laughs> Therefore, I will remain. It is my duty to ensure Claude does not worsen the situation in the Alliance. All of us are fighting for a different reason, but we share a common enemy. If we don't act, the Empire will crush us eventually. I say we stop them before they have the chance. So, teach. Will you help as well? Of course. Let's start to read and fight. I'll give some thought. Oh, come on. I just want to say yes, please. Can I just say yes? Uh, I'll say this, I guess. I don't like any of these answers. All the more reason to join us. Admit it, you're not going to be able to do much on your own. True. With you on our side, the church will join us as well. That makes fighting the Empire a moral cause, which means it'll be easier to rally support. 
Above all, your knowledge and strength are indispensable if we hope to stand a chance against the Imperial Army. What knowledge? He doesn't remember anything. Without you, my schemes are nothing. Just words. Please, take all of that into consideration as you decide. What knowledge does he have? You're really laying it all on the table, aren't you, Claude? Well, all that aside, this place is a mess. We can't very well make our base in a ruin. And repairing it sounds like a lot of work. I wonder if anyone would be willing to help us out with that. Hmm. I think it's loading the next chapter. Well, it looks like we're in the middle of everything. Oh shit. You were alive all this time? Oh shit. He's here. Everyone is here. Professor, it is so good to see you again. My brother and I were worried about Where'd you all come from? Oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess you lucked out. Oh, you don't look much older at all. We've been looking everywhere for you, but I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried oh, about shit. you, Professor. He looks a lot older. Cyril? Looks like Jemka. Is that you? You've grown up, kid. Have you been looking for Rhea with the knights? Of course. Without Lady Rhea, I don't belong anywhere. Cyril, that's not... Never mind. We'll figure it all out. Oh my. The Golden Deer House is together again at last. And all grown up. Well, for the most part. I do regret that we were never able to hold a proper graduation for all of you students. Why are you here? How is this such for... How about we go over this one? It has been five years since Lady Rhea disappeared. We have devoted all of our energies to finding her. However, without being able to set foot in Empire territory, we are at a standstill. We had hoped that perhaps the Archbishop would return here on this day. That of the long-awaited Millennium Festival. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. Though I don't suppose you had very high hopes in that regard. Even if she were able to return here, with the monastery in ruins, I don't think she would have felt safe enough to do so. Right, Hilda? <laughs> yeah! This is an important location for the church. To think you've left it in such a hey, state. Hey, come on, Hilda. Like... <laughs> come on. That's true. Perhaps we've left it alone for too long. We've got to make things right. I can clean this place up like new. It's not fit for Lady Rhea right, like this. Right, you on your own. And leaving this place in ruins affects the safety of this area, too. Agreed. There is also a great deal of valuable literature here. Then let's do it. If we all work together, we can restore the monastery to its original beauty. We will require the aid of skilled craftsmen, too. I shall seek out any such individuals who are willing to return to Garrick Mock. Fantastic! I'll figure out how to split up the right. work, and then we can get started. Right, right. Hey, um... Really? <laughs> We're gonna have a chapter where we just clean up the monastery? I was hoping we wouldn't have the monastery at all, actually. Because that would be, like, a nice change of pace. But they're probably just gonna clean it up all the way. The Alliance Part Leader's two. Ambitions. Verdant Wind. Guardian Moon. The Alliance Leader's Ambitions. Ambitious schemes, more like. Claiming the monastery at Garrig Mach as its home base, the Alliance Army joins forces with the Knights of Saros. Together, they begin to take up arms against the Adrestian Empire. Of course they do. I like how Gerald is actually reading out the story now. Oh, online. I wish I had that, right? I wish I had that. So... I don't know, I was kind of hoping we'd just be traveling around all the time, like a classic Fire Emblem game. Except we just get the monastery back, probably with like some some destroyed shops and stuff. Like we won't get everything back right away. But we probably will at some point as our power grows. Which is fine, but I was like... Somehow in my head I figured that the monastery would just be like gone forever, right? Like a consequence of the war and its destructions. Each unit has grown over the past five years. should check their classes and weapons. No, they haven't. They've been the same. <laughs> They're all the same. Good work, Hilda. You didn't do much manual labor, but you managed to rope the knights into helping us restore the monastery. Thanks, Claude. But all I did was piggyback on your scheme. I saw your eyes telling me to make some magic happen. 
Thank you so much for your help with the restoration. Oh, please, it was nothing. We're just doing our part as former students. I'm told you even routed the bandits. That job should have fallen to us. I'm sorry for what the What are they doing? I guess they were just searching. Hey, don't think twice about it. We're all allies in the resistance against the Empire, right? The Church is at war with the Empire, but let's be realistic. Wouldn't it be better for the Alliance to eventually submit? The way I see it, the Emperor wants to take over all of Fodlan and destroy the existing order of the world. I can't see her allowing the Alliance to continue to exist. We're in this just as deeply as you are. Actually, we were hoping to use this place as a base. The Empire begs to be meddled with, and we're first in line. What? Why would you want to make your base here of all places? Garrick Mach is situated in the center of Fodlan, both geographically and spiritually. On the other hand, this place has been invaded before, like... I feel like if the Garrick Mach at its height got invaded by the Empire and just lost that easily... How, what do you mean it's not gonna... like, it's probably gonna happen again, right? There's no reason to not just do the same thing again. We want to secure this location while the Empire is still overlooking it. Like, this is not bad, of I course. See. The Empire doesn't see this place as important at the moment because it's far from the front lines. Front lines is in Fargus, I assume? If we simply decide that it's ours to occupy, that does nothing to inspire the hearts and minds of the people of Fodlan. Luckily, good old Teach has finally returned to us. If the Professor Rhea entrusted with the Sword of the Creator fights at our side, well now, that's a just cause anyone could get behind. What's more, here we are, working alongside the legendary Knights of Saros. It smacks of divine providence, doesn't it? Can you feel it? Even mine, Claude is not religious at all. Like, he's more close. He's like closer to an atheist, except he's more tolerant of religious than like most aggressive atheists you'll ever find. So, I don't know if he's like being completely genuine here, but he does know how to rally people. So, I have heard what you have to say, Claude. And you, Professor? Where do you stand? I can't talk. I'm a silent protagonist. Um, I will fight the Empire. That's what I want to say. Hmm. On our own, we lack sufficient military strength. But with the help of the Alliance... The Archbishop said if anything should happen to her, that we should entrust the affairs of the Church to you. I remember that. If you intend to fight alongside the Alliance, then I will follow you as well. Good. Is that acceptable, Claude? <laughs> of course. I can't think of anything more reassuring than having both Teach and the Knights. Yeah, I think we've established side. this at this point. Together, we'll stop the Emperor and her reckless ambitions. All right, let's let's go kill Edelgard. Let's fly there and kill her. Easy mode. All right. Looks like there's still events there. Okay, set that A support, B support. Not sure. May I discuss something with you? Yes, you may. I promised to help you find the truth of who you are. You did. But I'm afraid it's not that simple. There are some details I have kept concealed. What details? Five years ago, before she vanished, I asked Rhea some pointed questions. I learned that she knows everything about- Everything? Me. Damn it. No, that is understating it. Rhea is responsible for your existence. Is she my mom? What do you mean? I could explain to you here and now what fragments of knowledge I was able to pry Do it. from Rhea. Do it. I fear, however, that a partial understanding might do you more harm than Oh, uh, that's a lame excuse. Once we save Rhea, you will know the whole of it. Please. For now, that is all I can tell you. Come on. Like, If really? you are still uncertain about your feelings, then permit me to add one more thing. You, Rhea, and I... We are like family. Because of those deep ties, you can be certain that I will never abandon or betray you. On the contrary, I greatly wish to see what your future holds. I am, and will always be, your ally. Even family members can turn on each other. Yep, that's true. Look, at, the, look at Hubert. History is full of examples. I don't believe that will be the case here, but I suppose all I can do is ask for your trust. The truth is, you have become indispensable to me. And that is true quite independently of whether I see eye to eye with Rhea, or even whether we are friends. After this war is over, where I go and what I do will depend wholly on you. What do you mean? I am still trying to figure that out <laughs> myself. 
Perhaps it is just that I find you so fascinating that I cannot bring myself to leave your side. Pokemon, that's like Hanuman's thing. I dislike thing. a one-sided conversation, but in this case, I am afraid I had no choice. Our future is yours to determine. Hey, marry me. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. though. A support, there we go. My first A support, guys. I usually don't show the supports, but this one felt like it was pretty important, so let it slide. Ingrid's birthday. Oh, we can still host tea parties, apparently. Why the fuck not? We're already here anyway. Okay, and... She's not even with us right now, so... This is kind of weird, isn't it? I can just have tea with someone who isn't there. Like, I'm having... I'm teleporting tea. Uh... I don't know. Here, have some Southern Thank tea. Thank you for inviting me. Hello, Ingrid. You're looking good. Looking real good. I can see. This is weird, isn't it? At least our outfit got spoiled. Why does everyone get burned like that? Okay. Can I just talk? Yeah, let's talk. Indifference, potential training partners. Uh, I think she likes training the most. Yes. Yes, she does. Alright, next one. Ambitions, children at the market, cats. Uh, she likes animals, I think. She also likes being ambitious. I'll just say cats. And last one. Overcome weaknesses, courtyard couple, likable allies. Um... Doesn't have any weaknesses. Uh, there we go. And then. When did you start sword training? I was five when I began. Okay, that's that's a great question. Let me just um, nod or blush or something. Sip tea, chat. Uh, we'll just chat. There we go. Perfect tea time. Easy mode. Ingrid's like easier than Raphael. Holy shit! All right, I'm not even gonna observe her. Like, screw that creepy shit. Thank you for the treat. I had such a great time. Give me that charm. Yeah, tea time will never not get weird. More charm. Okay. I'm really curious what's gonna happen this Sunday. We have allies who can take master exams. Take a look at the certifications to review which they can take. One master seal. Certifications. We'll do that first. So it's gotta be Yeah, it's these two that can become like wife and master, I think. Uh, we also have Felix who can do it. God, everyone is here! Everyone is just here. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, she's looking mighty. Goddamn. She really looks a lot more like Lynn now. I understand why people see similarities. I still think her personality is very different, but damn. You're looking good. That's a great look for her. I love it. Uh, everything else still looks the same for me. I think her stats and stats stay the same. Uh, let's check them all out while we're here. Good God. Looking good. Uh... Why is my R button not working for this? Um, Felix. Wait, I can just check roster. Probably a better way. Um, but yeah, it's, let's see. Here's Felix. Wow. He's looking amazing, man. That is a cool ass hairdo and everything. This is Ingrid. We already saw her at the tea party. That does look the same. Flane is the same. Apparently, these like auto join you after the like, good time skip. Uh, Hanama, Manuela, Louis, Catherine, Shamir, Cyril looks pretty much the same. I think he like auto leveled up at some point. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't think I ever trained him. Uh, Big fool, of course. Wait. Oh wait. Huh? Oh, they're in my roster, but I don't think I have him yet. Wait, I do. This is just everything I recruited. Never mind. Okay. I thought I had more people for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but I can like mess with their inventory. I assume I can deploy them soon. Petra's here, Felix. Yeah, I can just mess with everything. So they should be here. Okay, and we have like a bunch of. We have so many supports. Holy god. Well, I'm just gonna record those later. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, let's do the cert certification. Um, let's promote. Let's see, does Big Fool have that class mastered yet, though? Because I don't think he does. Yeah, he needs like more XP to master this class, so. Maybe I should not be promoting him, but I kind of want to see. I, I want to get the certification at least, right? Uh, looks like he can't quite do it. Oh, he needs like a lot more lance rank to get it. That's true. He has the accident flying rank and everything. What about Claude? Probably has a better shot because I trained his lance rank a bit. But not that much. Looks like he can take it. 51% is kind of low though. I don't want to waste my seal or saves come forward right now. So we're going to have to leave that until later. I reckon. Uh, these people are close. Felix can actually do it probably. Oh, no. His lance rank is pretty garbage too. Yeah, we can't get there yet. Unfortunately. Look. Wrong one. This one. 
Yeah, 0%. Okay, so we need to work on our ranks quite a bit. We probably have some tutoring. Yeah, we have tutoring again. We can even explore. So let's explore for a bit. I'm just going to save here and explore. And then we'll figure out the rest from there. Let's, uh, let's explore. Okay, so they just made their base here again. And they cleaned everything up. Okay, so on one hand, I'm happy to return to a more familiar place. On the other hand, it's like... I was expecting something different, you know, after the time skip. Professor. Uh, later, man. Later. Sorry. Not a great time. So, it's the same thing. And, like, I like returning to old things after, like, a time skip and stuff. But I was hoping for something different. Let me, I'm not gonna lie here. Hmm. Alright. I'm time. pretty headstrong, but Claude could give me a run for my money. I mean, he's dragged the knights into this. You ought to be careful, Professor. I'll be fine. You too. Um... Hey, uh, I'll just say I'll be fine. I wonder if you've got a hidden headstrong side. You must be hiding it really well, though. Super good at hiding. All right, what's the quest? Supply run. Excuse me, could you do me a favor? Oh, wow, what a great amount of supplies. Excuse me, could you do me a favor? Another quest? Sure. Find some flowers. Why not? Advanced drills. Wait, she can teach me stuff now? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This hidden item. Pale blue flower seeds. Hey, let's do some gardening. I bet I can like harvest my things from five years ago. Yeah, of course these grew. Look, of course they did. Here we go. All right, let me just plant some more while I'm at it. Let me just plant some flower seeds. Flowers are broken, dude. Cultivate that shit with some pruning. I don't know what pruning does yet. But I haven't read that comment yet. Here we go. Here's some. Flowers that we need. Right. Is that all we need, actually? Damn. Here you go. I'm pretty headstrong. Alright, um, gifts. That uh, was the gladiolus, I think. You're sweet, thanks. Wait, that was not it. That wasn't it. Wait. Thanks so much. Oh, there we go. You're a sweetheart. Okay, so they were for a grave. That's good. You know, we just need to find some tomatoes, I guess. Out of requested resources. How about we find some other quests first? Jesus, there's so many supports on the field now. <laughs> I'm gonna do them later. I'm gonna record them separately. There you go. Um, what's up? Do you have time for a request? Fish seems skittish lately. It said that every five years in the wake of a storm, a mystery fish appears and eats up all the other fish in the pond. He called the big one. I thought it was just a legend, though. Catch the big one. All right, I will catch the big one. Watch me catch the biggest fish you've ever seen. I was not expecting this to be here. Okay, so apparently I only have one bait. I think it's because I never really bought anymore. Alright, so the big one, I don't think that's the big one. I think it's just a large fish. We'll catch this later. We need probably need some good bait for that shit. This ain't the big one, is it? I, I thought this is the big one. Let me talk to the guy anyway, just to make sure. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Next quest. Marketplace. I wonder if this place is the same too, with the same music and everything. Sounds the same to me. I need a favor. You quest. Got a favor to ask. I want to start a collection that chronicles the history of Folum. I'm having trouble getting my hands on anything significant. Honestly, it might be easier to exc excavate an artifact rather than trying to find one for seal. Look for a remnant that the merchant would be proud to enter a collection. So I'm just gonna steal that from the thing. Okay. Just gonna steal that from the library. Professor. Thing. Let me just look around real briefly for hidden items. I'll do the rest off screen. But so far, everything is pretty much the same. Like, even the merchants are here. Good old merchants, they never left. Okay, uh, let's find the other two quests. Professor. Oh, wait. Are you a quester? No, you don't have a quester. You're just a trainer. You can, you can like faculty train with your students now. That's interesting. Hey, I could use a hand. Pirates attacking innocent people. Oh, this is like a auxiliary battle, I assume. And then this one. I need a favor. So it stays in front of London abandoned posts. Uh, he became bandits. Soldier have obtained a deserted. Sorry, a soldier has obtained information about the deserters. It seems they are skilled soldiers, which would persuade them to join you. Okay, dealing with deserters. Interesting. Wonder if that's the. But it can't be anyone significant. I think I got everyone that I had before. 
Let's go here, retrieve the artifacts. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, Mariana's here, of course. Of course she is. I want to talk to all my students, actually. Uh, let me just find this. Okay, we can just bring that back. Let me just talk to all my students, because that's why we're here, right? Even with the church in shambles, we can still pray. The goddess will surely hear our prayers. But still, I hope the church can return to its former beauty someday. Of course. Don't you worry. Let me just talk to my students. Talk to my boys and girls. Teach. Everyone is here, man. Hey there, my friend. It's funny how the monastery was once in ruins, but now it's downright busted. Yeah, that was quick. Thanks to a little promise five years ago, our buddies have all gathered, and even the knights have returned. It's like we were all just waiting for you to awaken. And now, we're all going to band together against the Imperial Army. You should go and talk to everyone if you can. There may be some who are still on the fence. I wonder if Felix is somewhere around here. Because he seems like someone who would be on the fence at some point. Wait, I think there's someone else outside here. If not, whatever. We shall see. Uh, right, right. Not now. Okay. Never mind, I just I'm need thinking... to find people. Uh, let's find Ingrid. So she's... I recruited her from another house, but she can still give him faculty training. Or advanced drills, as they're sure. called now. See, where are you at? What about you? Okay. During the Millennium Festival, the leaders of all territories were supposed to gather together and pledge perpetual peace. But now that hope has been dashed, thanks to the Emperor's actions. The kingdom is also vastly different than before. I guess we'll never return to the world as it was five years ago. Interesting. Uh, where's the next person? I mean, uh, Ingrid's stables, of course, so we'll talk to her here. Where are you at, girl? Uh, you're not Ingrid. You're just a person with a yellow helmet. I think you're Golden Deer, but you're not. Alright, here you are. Professor, Professor, I have a proposal. Why not go beyond the Knights of Saros? Instead, uniting with allies from all across Fodlan to fight for our cause. Good idea. Looking back, it would have been best to ally with the kingdom and join forces against the Empire. But now the kingdom is not exactly... well... Probably not, no. They're probably screwed. I wonder what happened to them. I know Dimitri is like all kinds of fucked up now. Of course Raphael is here. Everyone is in their most iconic places. Might as well check out the dining hall for a little bit. But it doesn't look like much has changed about the monastery at all. Looking around. Yeah. Hey. You're looking sharp, friend. You're looking sharp. Raphael. Wait. That's not Raphael. This is not our busty guy. I saw the people standing in line. Morale meals. <laughs> Where Raphael at? Oh, in the corner. Okay. Why are you standing in the corner? Why are you not eating at the table? <laughs> Fine alongside you and everyone else is a dream come true, Professor. And don't worry about my little sis. Right now, she's back home helping out with the family business. I kind of figured I was going to be stuck going back and taking over for her. But thanks to you and Claude, I get to work on my dream of becoming a proper knight. It looks knight. a lot more like a knight. A lot more. Alright, Felix and Leone are here, training. A country with no king has no future. That's why I made my way here. Professor, don't let me down. Oh, don't you worry. With no king? Yeah, I'm curious about that. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough. How about you explain me? <laughs> like, please. I need everything I need to... I, I have no memory, okay? It's not just for my village that I'm fighting alongside you here, you know. It's also that Captain Gerald asked me, his first and greatest apprentice, to look out for you. Of course, it wouldn't be enough just to keep you alive. It's my duty to make sure you win, too. Well, you better so get some better stats, then. Professor, and count on me to watch your back. You better get better. You better get better. What's left? Uh, Ignatz over here somewhere. Hmm. Ignatz. Um, there's even notes here and stuff. Everything is here. Locate Ignatz real quick. Uh, he's at the south end. Somewhere here. 
I think I found him. It's been fixed up quite a bit, but its battle scars aren't so easily erased. It's to a think feather. that a glorious or cathedral writing. with a thousand year history would end up like this. I'll rebuild this place someday. This cathedral is the symbol of Fodlan. Maybe I should paint a picture of the beautiful cathedral of old. Well, I still remember what it looked like. Sounds like a good idea to me. I'd love that. Let me see that later. No one here. Let's see. Tia's in the library, of course. I have a faint feeling that everyone is the place where they were first at when you came to the monastery, but I might be wrong. I've grown weary and impatient. These past five years, my hands have been bound. But now, I can finally take action with a clear goal. I'm grateful to you and to everyone. I didn't do anything. <laughs> That goal Down is. with the Empire. Surely peace will soon follow if the Empire is overthrown. Then my parents can finally find peace themselves. Alright. Alright. Um, just like that. I mean, we just talked to him kind of for real. I've had all my students, those are the most important to me. Students, my people. Uh, Lorenz, I guess, is still here. Do him first, we can do set that after. Rhea isn't here, of course, but we can do like Aloise and friends. Professor, I have written to my father to signal my intention to remain here. Not that I require his approval to do so. There is not much for me to gain by returning to Alliance territory now. But by Lord. staying, I will be able to influence the course of events directly on the field of battle. Will you get along with the Alliance leader? The keep an eye on the Alliance leader? We will not be friends, but I will cooperate with him as much as is necessary to secure victory. Alright, good to hear it. Very, uh, very noble of you. Let's talk to Shamir and Catherine. They're right here. Hey, I'm more of a mercenary than a knight these days. I work to get paid. Well, sure. I never was too attached to Fodlan. I was considering leaving soon. But I might change my mind if you're around. Okay. That's very nice of you. Catherine. In Lady Rhea's absence, I will follow you. That's what she would want me to do. Know that wherever you might lead us, I'll continue searching for Lady Rhea. That's what he wants to do, too, so Good. yeah. Because I will not budge on that point. Welcome back, Professor. I mean, I get the feeling that they want to say that to, like, make Bolette say that he wants to do that, too. Like, search for Rhea instead of finding it. That's what a couple of options we're suggesting. Okay, we'll talk to all these Professor guys. And we're gonna call it a day, I think. And maybe Surreal if we have time. I don't give a fuck what's real things, like, whoever th ha gives a fuck about what a kid thinks anyway, right? Um, all the people- no one is here. Understandable, this is like Rhea's place, nobody wants to come here. Um, dun 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 dun, I, I will find him here, surely. Here we go. Professor, five long years I've searched for you and the Archbishop. It is a pleasure to see you again. The Church of Seros will follow you from now on. But please do not abandon the search for Lady Rhea. We'll do whatever it takes to find her. Thank you. I know the battles ahead will be dire, but we will support you with all our strength. Okay, Anaman and Manuela. Thankfully, it appears the records and equipment I need for my research have not been damaged. I am most curious, though. You say you were asleep for five whole years. Incredible. I know, right? Perhaps this is another effect of your crest. I do look forward to investigating you in greater detail. Won't hurt. Uh, maybe later. I'll have to be content with observing you wherever you go then. I cannot waste any opportunity. This guy yeah, this didn't change anything. Hey. My professor, you haven't changed a bit. At your age, I'd expect your whole demeanor to have changed greatly over five years. Though, I suppose I haven't changed either, right? <laughs> Thank you for noticing, by the way. <laughs> ah, just the two of us, forever young. <laughs> oh, let me have my fun. A lot of ways you can interpret that. All right, uh, where's Surreal? Right here. Cardinal's room. I don't think I've ever been here. Is this open before? Uh, surreal, where you're where you at? Gonna be somewhere around here, right? There he is. Let's see. I don't know anything about rebuilding, 
but I can sure do my best to clean up the mess. I'm gonna keep Lady Rhea's room spotless, so she can use it right away whenever she gets back. You gotta find her, Professor. You just gotta. Alright, well, even he can train people. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have a look around a little more closely to see if anything else has changed. Looks like most of the things are just the same. And I can't lie, I was expecting more to be changed. Um, when you have a time skip and everything changed, the biggest thing I think is that like you see a huge difference between what it was before and what it is now. You see the consequences of the invasion and the war. And for me right now, it looks like it's basically just the same thing, but with older students. Uh, it's like they basically just changed their portraits and everything else is the same so far. I know the maps are going to be very different, but I was expecting a little different too. Like, imagine if we, um, before we got back here, before we got back here, we had like a couple chapters where we just fought with like limited sub, like limited stuff, like limited unit options and everything. And then after a couple of maps, you finally get back to the monster. You finally get to make your home base again. It will make it much more satisfying to finally return here. Now it's like we were, we've barely been away. We've been away for one map. That was it. Uh, we've been here ever since. So that is one. Bit of a gripe I have. I am still happy to see everyone return. I'm really happy with the post time skip look so far. Uh, all that I've seen. I haven't seen the enemies yet. I haven't seen like um, you know the gold, the black eagles, and everything. But for example, Petra and Leone, they did absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to continue. I've heard that the post time skip maps they're just really, really good. So I'm looking forward to that. And look forward to me. Look forward to it with me next time. Peace.